Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, oh, I'm not taking it a little lower. I'm gonna do this and that bookish edition. Like I have one bookish edition and I have a romance one. So yeah, I want to do that for this video. And uh, I'm wearing a top that I actually didn't know if this was gonna fit me or not. And it did. So I'm surprised. But let's get on with the video. So the first one, I found both of these on Pinterest. So yeah, this are that. Fiction or non-fiction. I don't think I've read any fiction. So I will say non-fiction. Because you know, I have a collection, if you don't know. Of books. Right here. And down. Oh my god, I'm blurry now. Hello? Damn, my hair. I'm just gonna wait a bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. So yeah, I have a big I have a collection of books. Next one is physical books or audiobooks. I haven't listened to any audiobooks. I only read physical copies of books and I really like it. Um I think I try to listen to my light is blinking. Uh, I think I'll try to listen to Icebreaker on audiobook. Uh, on audio, audiobooks. Um, that one. Uh, but I like reading them. Physical. The next one is standalone or series. Uh, I like series actually, um, cause. There's more, and then when you're like, if you really love the book series and you're like, oh my god, it's so sad, this and now, but then you get like another book in the book series and you're like, yeah. got to hear a little bit more of my favorite characters and stuff like that, so that's really exciting, because who wouldn't, so I would say that. Beach read or cozy winter read? I like a beach read, yeah. I love beach reading. I haven't. Well, I have done it sometimes. I love beach reading. My cozy winter reads are really nice, though. You can get really good, like, book selections of that. But I do like beach read more. Because I love romance. And I love summery books. And reading, reading books on the beach is just amazing. I love that. I didn't read romance books when I was a kid having a books with me on the plane and on the beach. I didn't read romance back then. I feel sorry for myself because uh, you have to read romance. It's the best kind. I love fantasy too with romance in it. It's amazing. Love it. Okay, slow pace reader. Or a fast paced reader. I think I'm in between because some books I can read really fast and like go so, like goes by so fast. But then there's some books, like, I'm not just really hating the book, it just takes me a lot longer. I'm currently reading The Fault in the Stars still and I'm not even halfway. I've seen the movie multiple times, so for me, the book I thought it was gonna be a good experience, but then I read. I'll show you. I read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah Ma J. Maas and after that one I just I fell into a slump of only want to read fantasy so now I am on the second book of that book series right now um, and I can't finish Our Faults in the Stars it's going to take me a hot minute to finish it but I'll I'll say slow fast-ish reader I can't choose I can't choose I can't I can't I just I can't okay I can't <laughs> um and this one did I do library or bookshop no um I would <laughs> I would do bookshop <laughs> I don't like the library I love to buy the books and just have them with me home you know and have them on my shelf and just look at them and like be like I read that, you know, like I've read it and I have, I have proof that I've read it, you know. Uh, I do like libraries, but I just don't 
tend to go into them and look around. See, so, yeah, a bookshop. Dual POV or single POV? Dual POV. Some books are good being single POV. I just love both. Because I'd love to hear what this other person is thinking, not just the main. For example, girl, only hers single POV. No, I would want the guy's POV as well. Because, yes, amazing. Stick to one genre or read lots of genre. I feel read lots of genre because I meant mostly stick to romance, but I have tried mystery. I won't thriller kind of uh, fantasy. I'm on that. I think that's three. So yeah, I would do read a lots of genre. Romance or mystery? A romance. Let me tell you. Romance to the day I die. To the day I die. Love it. It's wonderful. Adventure or thriller? I feel adventure because some thrillers I'm not like wanting to read. I love scary movies. I've watched too many scary movies since I was a kid. Um, being like um, 10 or... 11, 12, and this old friend that I had, used to have, we just watch scary movies. And my cat is now. Can you hear that? He wants to come inside. I'll wait a minute. I'll do the, the last one before the other sheet, and then I have to go get him. Uh, the last one is paperback or hardcover. I don't have any hardcovers of books that I've read. So, I can't say anything about it, you know, like I can't, I just, I'm just gonna paperback. It's easy to read, and I don't know, I'm not, I don't really have, like, a specific, like, I don't know, because I don't have any hardcovers, so I wouldn't know if I would choose that, but I'm gonna choose paperback. I'm gonna get my cat inside, and then I'll come back and do the romance book, this or that. Okay, so, I am back. He, my cat, meows like that, 24-7, if I don't let him in, when he wants to, he's like, come and get me, mom, come on, let me in. Anyways, it's annoying when I'm wanting to sleep, and I have to work the next day, and I can't, because my cat is just screaming, he wants to come inside. Anyways, this is the romance book, this or that, so let's do this. Contemporary romance or historical romance. I f I like contemporary romance. I don't think I. Yeah, yeah. Single POV or dual POV? I've done that, so we know I'm doing dual POV, obviously. Friends to lovers or enemies to lovers? I'm a hard stand for enemies to lovers. Like that's the best. Like I love it. But I do love friends to lovers, but I do love enemies to lovers, you know. It's just amazing. I feel like it's just so good. It's so good. Some of my favorite books are enemies to lovers, and I love enemies to lovers. I just, I love it so much. So much. Okay, cinnamon roll hero, alpha grumpy hero. I do like grumpy though, but I don't... I'm gonna do Cinnamon Roll Hero because of Icebreaker. Because of an eight. Because of an eight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Force Pro Maxi or Grumpy X Sunshine? I do love Grumpy X Sunshine. Love Sunshine. But I love when they twist that and the girl is grumpy. Because Icebreaker made me fall in love with that, and I'm just like, mm, so good, so good, so good, amazing, really amazing, so good. So I'll choose Grumpy Sunshine, yeah. Dual timeline, a single timeline. I do like dual timeline actually, so I'll choose that because 
it's just so good. Yeah, no. Also, some books I'll not like it. You know, not good. Some sometimes it's just oh my god, I just noticed my top has hearts on them. Come, can you see that? Look at it. How cute! Sorry, I decided to show you because I just found that out because I haven't worn this since today. Anyways, fake dating or forbidden love? Fake dating. I love fake datings because there are so many versions of them. You have fake fiance. Well, that's. Well, that's. I'll consider that. You know, like they're just different. Like you put them in different categories. And you have different fake dating scenarios and I have heard this like uh, thing that oh, what was it I saw it on was it TikTok or something like that no a comment on Goodreads that was like all Romans are the same all Romans books end the same and are the same but always the same I'm like, yeah, kind of, but it feels new every time I read romance, like the plot and everything, just, and fake dating and everything like that just feels new every time. It's just so good. Okay. Stand on a series, I don't lie when I am. Series, obviously. Um, laugh out loud or tear trigger. Um, laugh out loud. <laughs> laugh out loud. You gotta laugh out loud, girl. Yes. Because if you don't, I can't read with someone else in the room, depending on the book, depending on the book, yeah. Some books just not meant to read in front of, like, in, in a room with uh, people, um, uh, people, with people, um, but, you know, just read covers on most of these. Um, I think the only books that I haven't read are two, three books on my bookshelf, um, the rest I've read, and, uh, I'm excited for Christmas, cause, um, it's gonna be a book haul. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon for that, because I was like, what do I want for Christmas this year? I'm like, books, it's all I want, it's all I want, it's easy, that's all I want. I'm an easy person to shop to now. That's all I want. And I gave them like a list of books I wanted. But there were some books I was like, this one, I want just a teeny tiny more. Like a high more. Like I want that more than that book. <laughs> I'm like that. So yeah. But I've done my Christmas ooh, shopping um, for my best friend. It says, Hopefully coming soon because I, I ordered it last night. So, finger crossed that it's coming and I hope she likes it for Christmas because I hate shopping for other people because it is really hard to find something that, um, it's just hard. Like, are they going to like it or are you going to pretend you like it and then return it and then buy something else? Anyways, I think next year I want to do book miss. I didn't do this this year. Um, because I haven't felt up for filming, and also because the two weeks, um, <clears throat> almost two and a half weeks I've been sick, uh, of th th this month, uh, so this month, so that's not fun. Um, I got COVID the second time, if you haven't seen my reading vlog, um, so I'm finally feeling better. So I'm back. Not sounding stuffy like the last video because that was horrible. Couldn't breathe. I hated it. I think about that video, it was an hour long. I edited that and I was like, can I cut it shorter? And I was like, no. Just let me and yeah, I even cut some clips. That's how long that video was, but it's over like days. <laughs> Took me eight days. To finish, I'll show you. It took me eight days to finish A Court of Thorns and Roses. I ate that shit out. That was so good. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm probably going to film another video today. So if you see this top, again, 
that's why because I wanted to film two videos today um I don't know if I'll do it but maybe I'll do it today I don't know um so if you see me and we're in this same top in the next video that probably why but if not then I filmed it on a different day but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye guys